Let's go, you know the vibes. Yeah. Got the hills, baby girl, don't cry. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm so glad that you clicked on my video and you're like, that girl looks interesting. Don't let me watch y'all. As you can tell by the title, I will be doing a flexi rod set on my blown out hair. So um, if you're new, then you probably wouldn't know that I just dyed my hair from blonde ombre to a red ombre. And I want to do a little bit of a lens check in this video just so you guys can have an idea of how long my hair actually is. Um, I've trimmed it the last time I trimmed it was a couple weeks ago I do trims quite often whenever I feel like my hair needs it I do it so let's let's get a light check in just going to grab a random strand of here and we will see so currently it is right here and from the back, I'll just use this side because it's easier. It is this long from the back. Um, hopefully y'all are seeing that. Um, yeah, y'all are seeing. So my hair, hair is like waist length. Um, but my hair goal, as in length, is to reach tailbone lens which i'm not that far from that's enough of me rambling about hair length oh y'all i just want to say i love this color on me <laughs> but anyways that's enough of that i have three different colors of flexi rod i already have a leave-in in my hair i blow dried my hair with a leave-in in that might have not have been the best idea, but it's my hair and I do what I want when it comes to my hair. But don't be like me. Use a heat protector. And my hair doesn't really get heat damage like that. But we'll see. Today I will be using the My Crown of Curls Honey Almond Twisting Souffle. Y'all love this stuff. I use the leave-in. On my hair while I was blow drying it and I'm going to also be using my hair Lux rejuvenating hair serum oil if you didn't know and if you're new this is a product that I created I did the design of the labels and all that good stuff so this is what I'll be using I'm almost halfway of my bottle and I could tell you that it's been working let's get into today's video by actually starting the styling process. I'm just gonna part my hair into two sections. I can't tell unless I've done a video where I've been talking in it as opposed to like doing a voiceover which I hate doing voiceovers honestly. To me it's time consuming and because of where I live there are usually there is usually a lot of noises happening around me and it's hard to film a voiceover although i'm probably gonna still have to put a voiceover this video i just want to start off by not doing one <laughs> Ooh, this hair i'm not looking to part this perfectly let me just say that so i'm just going to apply some of the oil and this half of my scalp, I know this pattern looks terrible, but we're going to have to work with it. Ain't nobody going to see that pattern anyways, so yeah. That was supposed to go on my scalp, but whatever. I would have just put it directly on my scalp, but... You know, I wanted the video to look a little bit aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> this is why I like videos like this because I could sit down and actually talk and then you guys could actually see my um, personality. I'm going to add some of this, y'all. This is how much I like this product. It is 
almost done like this and the cream of nature's twisting butter or something like that are my two favorite products when it comes to styling and they are both moisturizing as well so i'm just going to put some of this over my hair i do not want my hair to revert so i'm not going to put a lot a lot just enough it's probably gonna start revolting anyways that's the thing with natural hair yeah see it's already revolting i want to focus most importantly on the ends of my hair because that's the oldest and driest part of my hair okay and now i'm going to just add some oil to the end to seal in that moisture i don't have any grease at the moment as i would have been using grease but this oil works just as well okay so guys this is where my not so favorite part of the video is going to come in the styling my hair one <laughs> two voiceover so i'm going to switch over to a voiceover form and i hope that you guys enjoyed the rest of this video and i'll talk to you guys in a bit i'm just parting my hair in sections to work i'm not making this section too big but i'm also not making them too small because if i was to make them small I would have too many flexi rods in my hair. So now I'm just going to get ready to put my flexi rod on. I'm going to roll the flexi rod straight. No twisting and flipping over the first two rungs. And then I'm going to start going under my hair with the flexi rod to create a spiral pattern. The key to a good flexi rod set or any hairstyle is to making sure that your hair is properly detangled. So I'm just detangling my hair and now I'm going to repeat the same process. Am I the only person that struggles to get a middle part? Although that's like the part that I do the most, I still find it hard to part my hair in the middle completely straight. So for every part, I'm just making sure that I oil that part of my scalp. Um, Y'all should be accustomed to this foul cuckooing in my videos because at this point, I have no freedom when it comes to these wild animals.
I don't know if you guys noticed already, but while I'm putting my flexi wrap on, I noticed that there are like some hair that are longer than others. So I'm just smoothing that down so I can wrap my hair around the rod and have a smooth finish. I'm back guys. Um, My hand is redder than before so a little bit of the dye came off on my hands. Um, I, to be honest, I didn't wash it up properly because I'm like, when is this gonna stop running? I don't have time for this. So, yeah, I don't think I should be wearing white until I wash my hair again. I don't know. I don't think it really transfers on me unless I'm like actually in it. But anyways, we are done and I look like a, well, not a, an alien. I had to get some more of my fine flexi rods. These are like the first set of flexi rods I've ever bought in my whole entire life. So they're old and I was going to throw them away. Thankfully, I didn't because I needed them. I think I'm going to have to buy another pack. I didn't realize that I had this. I knew I had a lot of hair, but not this much hair. I love it though. Don't get me wrong. But it's tiring. It's frustrating. It's stressful at times. But... I still love it regardless. I would see you guys in a couple seconds for you. But for me, I wouldn't be taking them down until Saturday. And today is Thursday. So I'll see you guys in the next two days. Hey guys. So it's been two days since I've done my hair in these flexi rods. So I slept two nights. And let me just tell you. It was not fun. But we're going to finally take them down now and to take them down I will be using my Hair Lux Rejuvenating Hair Serum. So I'm just going to put a few on my fingertips and rub them together so we can reduce frizz. So now that we are done, I'm just going to go and separate off camera and I will be back with my final toss and the final look. I absolutely love how this style came out and I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Keep praying God is always on time. Mm. God first God, you know the vibes.